Hi, this is Scott Millendorf, Research Librarian at Zano Library, Zano Valley State University. I'd like to show you a search utilizing Google Scholar. Google Scholar will link you to library database articles whenever possible. You enter your search terms, but you enter them a little different than a normal library database. So just enter your terms without using and, without using or. So my search approach is mental health which is a phrase search when you include it in quotations, and first responders, again, included in quotations, and nursing to try to get to the nursing journals. Clicking that search, and we have a list of, uh, a very large list of articles. So I can come over to the left side and filter it by a date range. I'm going to click custom range and enter 2010 to current. Click search. And reduce that set of results. Looking at my list of results, this is what you're looking for when you're in the Google Scholar database. It says PDF or HTML it's a good chance that article is available online. So clicking the Sage Pub for this particular article, describing the mental health profile of first responders, a systematic review from this database, from this journal, sorry, Journal of the American Psychiatric Nurses. Open this article in another tab, and you go to a library database called Sage, giving you access to that article. We can look at the second article listed and notice something familiar, the Elsevier Science Direct database. Clicking that, if it's open access or if it's available at the library, you will get connected to it with a login. And there is the full text of this article. So Google Scholar is a very good resource to utilize for scholarly academic journals that may be online, open access, free to anyone on the internet, or that may be linked to the library, which would require you to use your SBSU login and password. PDFWiley.com. Wiley.com is another library database publisher that we may have access to that article as well. So Google Scholar will work very well for you. Just remember, when you're utilizing the search, you do not have to put in the word and in between your concepts of your topic and utilize the filter on the left to help with the amount of resources that you get to view. So I hope this was useful for searching with Google Scholar. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you for watching this video and good luck with your research.